that we are going to show you now about the government of the Hamas and the Patah together, and we know quite well that this is going to cause a lot of problems to Israel. Who knows? Obama might agree to accept this government, no doubt, but we believe that definitely things are much deeper, the sources of all problems Israel have are much deeper. Evil forces doing things, no doubt, are causing it. Now let us see the interesting table, which is very significant, as it comes really only once in the Torah. So let us see now this case. Now this is what you see here, is a Hamas and Fatah. This is the basis of the table. But before this, I want to show you important gematria, numerology, which brought in books definitely, and have very important teachings behind for the situation that really we have today. Now what we have here is the following. We have here Tayag Mitzvot. Tayag, we know Tayag are 613. We have 613 commandments to keep. We have the word Brit, covenant, which is really the basis of the Torah. Now we know quite well that this what is in Kabbalah, that Kabbalists, the old one, say, Naginate goes, many others, that there is a phenomena in numerical value, we have positive against negative, like you have Messiah, the same thing, snake, all are definitely opposite powers. So we have here against Brit, you have the Hamas and the Patah. This, what we see in the table, how Hamas and Patah come together, are the evil forces against the Brit covenant of the Torah. Then you have Torah, which is 611, and then there are two evil forces, Samael and Lilith, which also 611, which is written, the Torah is the only power against these evil forces. So amazingly, in this table that we are going to see just now, you have the appearance of all these names, which is very far from being coincidence. So let us see what we have here. So you have here, one thing the Torah, as we said, a Hamas, the Hamas and Patach, right, one thing the Torah. Hamas and Pat are coming here. Amazingly, you have here these two forces, which we say the Hamas, you can see the letter of the Hamas, have the letter Samech Mem in it, which consecutive with Samael, which comes here. Amazingly, Samael comes here. And Patach, which are mainly have the letter Petav, have the Lilith, which is the evil force to do with them, coming here also. Then we know quite well, as we say, that the snake is a symbol of evil, which is against Mashiach. Again, Mashiach, which comes here also, Mashiach. Now, perhaps the most important is this verse on top, which tells us, Ela mitzvot asher siva Hashem et Moshe b'nei Yisrael b'ar Sinai. These are the commandments which God told Moshe to tell b'nei Yisrael, really, the mountain Sinai, which is exactly now we are before Shavuot. By the way, you have here the year next year, sabbatical year, Mitav Shinai and Aleph. Maybe this sabbatical year, these problems will come stronger. So amazingly, as we see so clearly also, Emoyev, they are enemies to Israel. Now what is the most interesting, what we saw in the Gimatia, numerical value, the connection of the mitzvot, the mitzvot, that we have to keep in order to really to fight with these evil forces of the Samaritan um, and the elite, which have the same numerical value like Torah and Brit. So important teaching before Shavuot, today's time, to know that only by Torah, by keeping Torah and Mitzvot, you'll be able to get rid from all these problems that we have today. And interesting, exactly at this time, the Patah and Hamas, just the eve of Shabbat, they became one to tell us how important it is to keep the Torah. And the most important, which you have here, the word, Teshuvah, repentance.